friends, welcome. It's Rachel from Paper Ventures, and today I am doing a rosettes video. Um, these rosettes were made by my friend Emily from Handmade with Love, so I can't take credit for them. Uh, they're beautiful, and they're actually using the um, Cray Paper Magical Force collection, which is the exact collection I'm using today, so it worked out really well. Um, she gave me these in a swap that were just plain and not decorated, which is perfect. Like that is what I need. Someone to create the base of my rosette for me so that I don't have to do it. Um, it's like my least favorite part of making handmade embellishments. But yeah, so these were made for me. And the one I think is made out of vellum. I'm not 100% sure. I don't even remember now. But um, yeah, so it's perfect. They're beautiful sizes. They're really well made. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm using the Cray Paper Magical Force collection and uh, all these products are from um, Scrapbook Nerd and actually in the top left corner there you can see I pulled out some of the um, Fresh Bouquet collection. I only end up using like one or two pieces but um, I thought some of the colors went well together so I just brought it out just in case um, if I needed some extra pieces. Um, yeah, so like this butterfly, which was actually perfect. It's like this acetate butterfly and it was perfect to like tuck behind here. And I do use another acetate piece on another rosette and that turned out really, really cute. So that's a really good piece to like tuck behind and then you're still able to see it. It's hard when they're acetate and you, you know, you kind of see through it, but this worked out really well. Um... So here I am using the ephemera and the puffy stickers and then some of the cardstock stickers. And then I think in the end I take out that they're like big puffy stickers, like the giant sheet of like a 12 by 12 or a 6 by 12 sheet of um, like giant stickers. They're not cardstock though. They're like puffy stickers. So I do pull those out in the end and then I also just have some enamel dots from my stash. I have like a basket that I have on my desk with all my enamel dots and like little bits and bobs like that like little puffy hearts and stuff that don't necessarily have a particular collection they go with. Um, I just have a little basket on my desk that I reach for often. So I'm trying to find which enamel dots will match best with it. Yeah so Magical Forest collection, which now is kind of an older collection, um, but I am still actively using it, as well as Sweet Story and um, Fresh Bouquet, but uh, soon enough I will be getting out my Christmas supplies and starting to work on Christmas stuff and prepping my December daily and doing Christmas happy mail, so it's all very exciting. I do also want to say... At the end of this video, I do a slow close-up of all of these rosettes, so don't worry that that went by really fast. At the end, you'll be able to see close-ups and get to see what um, they look like and all the layers. And as you can see there, I used um, a f uh, from the Fresh Bouquet collection, one of the acetate um, little like stamps, post postage stamps and tucked it behind and that worked out really well and then I also had like these two little scallops that worked perfect to tuck under there and up here to be like another layer. I used these um, little foam dots. I don't usually use foam dots but in this circumstance I did um, and layering some of those stickers because I did. I only have a few chipboard pieces left, and I didn't really want to use them all up on this, um, especially because I knew they might get hidden with my style of uh, rosettes. I knew they would probably get hidden somewhere, so I figured I could just use lots of dimension with um, foam or whatever. And here again, I'm using that acetate um, butterfly because that worked out really well the first time. Um, I'm adding some of these little mushrooms and then always be brave and using some foam squares for that. Some of it will get covered up, but that's just kind of the nature of doing these kinds of things. I feel like though I didn't go too crazy on those these rosettes this time. I didn't go too wild, so I think I restrained myself a little bit considering what my rosettes usually look like. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos. But I think they are just enough. Here's that sticker sheet I was trying to explain earlier that I brought out. 
and that is helping with some final little touches and I love little sprinkly bits here and there like the stars and the hearts and the little enamel dots and stuff like that. I, I can't go without them. So I'm just putting them across the rosette in different spots and different layers um, to kind of give a more layered and dimensional look. And then I add in these little yellow stars which bring in more of that yellow color. So I add one there and then I'm going to add one on the bottom as well. So in the Scrapbook Nerd Facebook group, we have challenges every Sunday where you can win a $10 Scrapbook Nerd gift card. This isn't a challenge video, but um, every Sunday we do post one. So if you would look at yesterday's um, post um, on Scrapbook Nerd, you will find the challenge for this week. Um, and then it closes on the Saturday. So you have a full week to um, participate and potentially win a gift card. So here are the close-ups of all of the rosettes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video um, and got some inspiration out of it. Um, yeah, like I said, these are a little bit more simpler than my, my usual, but uh, I love how they turned out. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!